Hello, welcome back to Water Movie. I am Tony. Yeah, I'm Claire. And we're back for Breaking Bad. Nice. We get two episodes in a day. We're watching. Nice. This is good. We're speeding up. Uh, last time, we were buried. Um, Walt was panicking. Yep. Got the money. Buried it. Uh, Skylar kind of helped him out. Didn't say a word. Will Jesse talk to Hank? But now, will Jesse talk to Hank? Do you want to know the episode name? Mm. What do you reckon? Will he talk to him or not? I don't know. I'm torn. This is Season 5, Episode 11, Confessions. This aired on the 25th of August, 2013, directed by Ma Michael Slavis and written by Jennifer Hutchinson. Uh, two people that have been working on the show the whole time, yeah. Uh, yeah. Confessions. Who's confessing what? I guess maybe Jesse, but is that too obvious? Who knows? Who knows? We'll get straight into it. I'm very excited. Um... <laughs> Full reactions in the description. You need your own copy to watch along. Just make sure to come back when we talk all about it. Let's just do it. Let's go. Route 66. Our favourite person in the world. Mm. <laughs> hey, Mr. White. Me and Declan had some differences of opinion. Differences Messy. of opinion. Jeez. Um, change in management. Do you think you should let him know or leave him to yeah. it? Or? So there I am. I'm on top of the train. I'm just telling him. It's crazy when you hear it. It's just insane. I jump off and move. This is insane. <laughs> like, it's just a weird seeing these guys. Yeah. Tight operation. It was perfect. I feel like they're getting the dirt from him somehow. Hmm. These guys. Yeah. Do you like them? Nope. Why not? Well, I mean, there's very obvious reason not to like them, but. <laughs> Are you feeling good about cooking? Yeah, for sure. I got this. How's he? Setting fires is what they want. Yeah. <clears throat> See a kid with a bicycle humming on? I'm gonna smack the shit out of him. Like for his own. The hell? These people aren't good people. No. <laughs> Ugh. Feel the blood from Declan's men. Hmm. Yeah. My god. They just driving it around. What the? New Mexico. Wow. That's insane, they're just driving it around. Well, yeah, someone would just think it's water, wouldn't they? Or... Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I don't like them. No. 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 Seeing that peak. I'm very glad we got an intro with them. <laughs> it's cool seeing that, that side. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love this. Oh, way to shoot it. It's really cool. Face now. Told you to turn it off. <laughs> you certainly did. What's the conversation going to go like? How are you today? That's so good, huh? I want to talk to you about your partner, Eisenberg. See, I know he's my brother-in-law, Vault. <laughs> <laughs> you got my interest? That's the look. <laughs> More interested in him. I got an offer. You help me out here? Make all this go away. Damn. All of it? Well, he's the mastermind. Based on your recent activities, there's a little trouble in there. <laughs> Maybe you guys aren't uh, getting along so good. I'm right, aren't I? He's always on it, isn't he? <laughs> but he does not like Hank. <laughs> Why don't you try and beat it out of me? That's your thing, right? <laughs> he ain't wrong. Really did a number on you, didn't he? Yeah, you, like, mm -hmm. when he's seen him, he's been so cocky and... Over the top, right? Throwing millions of dollars away. I think uh, I'm going to be patting you on the back for that. <laughs> Probably not. Maybe no. Not. My own brother-in-law lying to me for over a year. You've seen me. Maybe you understand that feeling. <laughs> I'm going to put him away. I think you want to talk. Does he want that? Mm, he does, but he's going to put himself away. Hmm. Agent Schrader, beat any good suspects lately? <laughs> tall and taller, Ed. Knocked the poor kid unconscious last time they were alone together. So long, Rocky. Keep your left up. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> what is up with you? And I have to hear about your little act of philanthropy on the news? <laughs> He's just what did you say to Schrader? Just chill out. Chill out. Imagine Schrader shared with you his recent discovery. Okay, well then you get my complete lack of chill. <laughs> yeah, very understandable. Just use the money that I gave you. Stop talking. I don't care. <laughs> just, just make it happen. Work your magic. So does talk a bunch. Call me when he's out. Hey, Dad, I'm home. Oh, damn, yeah. How is he going to explain that? <laughs> Gambling? He's going to use Scarlet's makeup. Yeah. 
He comes out looking like a clown. <laughs> That's her getting punched while wearing glasses. I guess cool. that. Uh... Right. <laughs> How can you say no? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Come on back inside. What happened? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's nothing. Is he going to use the the, the counselor as a way to so keep him there? Keep things from. Okay, well, you uh... deserve to know what's happening. Oh, he's going to tell him everything. Yesterday I passed out. Oh, that's for a few hours. I mean, that's a very good excuse for that. Little shadow on my lung. I just don't want you to worry. Oh my God. <laughs> my what now? Go on, like always. <laughs> oh, such a big thing, though. Yeah. yeah. I beat this once. Really, help me out. As if we all stayed positive. Oh, if, we if we all stayed home. <laughs> wow. Mm. 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 Bam. He's gonna be like, I don't want to go. No, no way. I, I'm staying. <laughs> Manipulate so well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he knows it's just it, what to say. It is good that he told him as well, though. Yeah. In a way, but yeah. Flynn's not with you, is he? No. How'd it go? Oh yeah. He didn't do it. I didn't tell. Just not time yet. No, it's past time. Yeah, it's well Wait, past time. <laughs> like. This thing is gonna be real bad. It's just gonna be worse if they find out that you've kept this from them. I'm not keeping anything from anybody, Marie, okay? Jesus. Mm. Tell me how to do my job. Oh, come on. She's really looking out for him, because he will get in shit yeah, if he, he does will. this, like. Are you sure about this? It's the only way. Oh. What's he doing? Did a porn out? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> close. <laughs> That's a cool show. My name is Walter Hartwell. Oh, that's so familiar to the very first episode. <laughs> no. This is my confession. Um. Well. Why? Hmm. Interesting place to be. Who are they waiting for? They look very <laughs> nervous and on edge. They're gonna be Hank and Murray. Hmm. This is just really mad. public setting. Wow. Yeah, that's the best place to, right? For for Walt's sake, at least. Uh. <laughs> What's in that bottle? <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Don't be mad, <laughs> Skyler and I. Welcome to Gardunios. My name's Trent. I'll be taking care of you today. <laughs> oh my God. Can anybody off? We need some time. Be right back with some water. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Uh, really? Oh, I'd like right. a little bit. If Hank could kill someone with a look, you know, and mm, you're just like... Yeah, definitely. There's nothing to confess. We're here to talk about Walter Jr. Flynn and Holly should be living with us. End of story. Your concern is misplaced. Skyler and I feel Marie's attempt to lure him to your house. Please leave our children out of this. Bit hard when it's so involved it's in family. Already this year. You are just. This investigation. Realize what this will do to him. He's gonna hear it when I kick in your front door and arrest you. <laughs> There's no family around this table. This moment. No. If that day ever comes, so be it. Why tear this family apart? This is his job. How about that guacamole? <laughs> <laughs> Read the room, maybe? Yeah, read the room. <laughs> okay, maybe it is. Just give you guys a few more minutes. <laughs> I think that's best. Mm. All we want is for those kids to be safe. They are safe. Jeez. We sent them out of the house. And I brought them back. It's in the past. There's nothing to accomplish. How can we believe anything you say? <laughs> There's no telling where the lies begin and end. That affair of yours? Did that, that even happen? That did happen. Yeah. Junior just found out that my cancer is back. He's already facing the idea of living without his father. To put this on top of that. <laughs> oh, he, 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 such he, a get out clause. Yeah. God, he started throwing the word right at me. What I mean yeah. was a right to run a drug empire. Lying to your son to all of us is that right? What do I have to do to make you believe me? Why'd you mm. kill yourself, Walt? <gasps> This whole thing dies with you, right? That's what you're saying here? <laughs> well, maybe you should just go ahead and die then. Uh... That is not possible. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
It's not a solution. Mm, he's not not for him, he's yeah. yeah. Sick. And the same goes for you if you stick with him. What do you think you're just gonna walk away from this thing? Never gonna happen. That is not what we're saying. Enough with the bullshit. There's only one solution. Step up, be a man, and admit what you've done. That's it. There is no other option. Well, damn. <laughs> I think that went well. How do you think that went? Uh, could have gone better. Yeah. This is my confession. If you're watching this tape, probably dead, murdered by my brother-in-law, Hank Schrader. Hank has been building a meth empire for over a year now and using me as his chemist. Shortly after my 50th birthday, he asked that I use my chemistry knowledge to cook methamphetamine. <laughs> Connections that he made through his career with the DEA. <laughs> and I was particularly vulnerable at the time. Something he knew. This guy. I was reeling from a cancer diagnosis. Marie's idea sounds very good. Uh, how much money I was weak. I didn't want my family going to financial it's insane. <laughs> it's so crazy. Hank had a partner, Stavo Fring. Hank sold me into servitude. Hank my and Fring God. had a falling out. They need to burn that DVD. I guess you call it a hit on Hank and fail. It all adds up as well. Yeah. He wound up paying his medical bills, which amounted to a little over 177. Oh, he didn't even know, did he? Recovery. Hank was bent on revenge. Working with Hector Salamanca, bomb that he used was built by me. This is how so circumstantial the evidence is. So that yeah, you can flip it like that, like turn it. This is Keep me in line. He took my children for three months. He kept them. <laughs> Man, I just. I tried once again to quit. He gave me this. <laughs> Man. The only thing tearing this all apart is. Well, it's just. I don't even fear. Every day that Hank will kill me. Oh. Worse, hurt my family. <laughs> How angry do you think he is? <laughs> Hope that the world finally see this man for what he really is. I mean, at that point, I'd want to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> like... Do you think he shot his dad? <laughs> no, it's a threat. That's why he will do if I don't back off. Anybody who knows you will know. Seventy-seven thousand dollars. Jeez. <laughs> that really doesn't help. No. They told me it was gambling money. This is just gambling money. Hmm? This doesn't make the situation any better. Oh, Not at all. Oh God, no! How was I supposed to know? <laughs> How was uh, I supposed to know where it really? Why were they from? paying for my medical bills? Insurance wouldn't have covered the treatment, and without it, you may never have been able to walk again. <sighs> oh gosh, yeah. This is why it hits Marie so much harder. This is gonna make you bury me. The, that's the last nail in the coffin. <laughs> what can you do? What do you reckon? I have no idea. Um, mm. oh. Run away? Can't imagine Jesse's happy at seeing the torrent. It's always a desert. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> I was like, why is he looking so disgusted at him? Trackers, you know. Well, yeah. Uh, I already checked it. Reads radio signals. Much mm -hmm. easier. <laughs> I was going to say, there's got to be a better way to do that. Yeah. yeah. What does he know? I mean, he knows you're Heisenberg. How much else? What did That's he a say? a huge sand dune. Yeah. It's a cool saying. I like he it. He wants me to tell him everything we did. I don't think he's told the rest of the D. I can kind of shady. Gomez is usually with him. The other... Why don't you go take a walk, so? <laughs> this doesn't involve you. Mm. You're just the driver. <laughs> I don't like to see you hurting like this. Book it's time for a change. Hmm? Book you in a rehab. 
I change. Maybe it's time for you to just leave all of this behind. It's not threatening to take him to the lees, is it? Whatever is it called? <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, Belize. Belize. Set you up with a whole new life. It would still be unhappy. Yeah, I, I don't know how, what can make him happy at this point. Maybe it's exactly what you need. Meet a girl. Start a family. He's tried that several times. Yes. And, you know. and what's here for you now, anyway? If I could, I'd trade places. <laughs> whole lifetime ahead of you. The chance to hit the reset button. Yeah, what's well, not got that? It hmm? looks a bit confused. Yeah. Would you just for once stop working me? Uh, stop jerking me around? Yeah. Jesse, I am not working you. Yes, you are. Drop the whole concerned dad hmm. thing. I mean, you're you're acting like it's all about me and turning over a new leaf. It's really about you. Yep. Everything is about I mean, you. Need me gone. Because yeah. your dickhead brother-in-law is never going to let up. Just say so. <laughs> Just ask Own me it. a favor. Yeah. Just tell me you don't give a shit about me. It's either this oh, or you'll kill me the same way you killed Mike. <sighs> I mean, isn't that what this is all about? So standing. I don't think so walked away far yeah. enough. In case I say no... Just tell me you need this. Yeah. Jesse is broken. Yeah, he is. Still working him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so just that. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So awkward. <laughs> That concern, Dad. At it again. Yeah. Think he's hugging him back. No. Nope. Change. Didn't see it, so I don't believe it. <laughs> Glad Jesse finally said that, though. Yeah. She's just sitting in the dark. Skylar, I've got my chemo in about forty-five minutes. Skylar. <laughs> so uh, everyone's so out of it yeah. around him, like. It worked. We're fine. Man, the way he's in shadow yeah. right now. Ugh. Can you get whacked? And it's all fine? Uh, maybe. So Palmer and Castaneras are sitting on that jerk-off Saul Goodman's office. You want to explain that to me? <laughs> right. They're just my guys, after all. Pinkman is APD's problem, not ours. Fine, take them off. Is he giving up? So take them off. I mean, what else is he going to do, right? What can he do? Right. Yeah. See now Hank looks out of it. <laughs> you know what? Uh, it's gonna have to be another day. Reschedule. Not rescheduling, I feel. Yes. Last chance. Mm. You sure there's nobody you want to say bye to? This is it. Once I make the call, there's no take backs. He's gonna uh, go. I need a new dust filter for my Hoover Max mm. that Pressure Pro Model 60. Ah. <sighs> so after all that, he's yeah, still gonna go. He's hot. I mean, hot. in a in a way, Just a little hot. Uh -huh. it was right in a way that it is good for him to yeah. get away from this but again yeah. it was yeah I feel Jesse's right your benefactor asked me to send you out with something extra but seriously this is the last of it so you might want to think about making a budget hey whoa whoa what are you doing you can't <laughs> fire up a doob in here put that out oh. I mean it put it out is that the ricin no Mitchell. no don't worry I'm not gonna let you say Whew. Uh, I had a panic what then thinking <laughs> show up high. stop screwing around or it's both our asses well that's a start now give with the dope <laughs> Christ. some people are immune to good advice <laughs> I feel like Saul's gonna be thankful for yeah. this is all the Fuel's gonna drop you at the pickup spot, then he's gonna get the hell out of there. He's got Looks so shaky and... Mm. You got a phone? It's a big change, I guess. Pops took it. Seriously? Hello, kitty? Seriously? It's free? <laughs> yeah, choose your situation here, so stop busting my face. <laughs> he'll pick you up, you'll pay him, he'll take your ID. Man. He'll give you a new one. Goodbye, Jesse Pinkman. Hello, Mr. Credit to Society. He's gonna, really gonna pick where I go? Well, it's your life. I imagine you get a say. How about Florida? Meet the Swedish bikini team. You know, Ooh. Swim at the dolphins. Ooh. Alaska. Okay, well, that's a different vibe. A whole vibe. different vibe. <laughs> you for a big moose lover. But whatever floats you. Alaska's good. 
It's far away. You really? get a fresh start is going to be good. Hmm? We really don't know how he's doing right now. Not well, it seems. No. Take mm. care, Jesse. That bag looks really obvious. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh. <laughs> Did he just take that out of his pocket? <laughs> it, it may, maybe. I feel like that's what happened. <laughs> It looked like he may yeah. have. He's very close to him. Yep. This is a really interesting place. Like, so weird. Has he not got lines oh, I love the way that was shot. <laughs> it's so, so cool. Wow, moment of truth. He's got to make a choice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think he's changed his mind. Yeah. This music's perfect as well. He looked mad. Hey, man, you can't go in there! <laughs> What did you call? What did you call? Uh, uh, stop! Uh, <sighs> go red! Uh, what? The anger! Mm. Back off! Stay where you are. What? I don't know what happened here. What did I do? You stole off me. Took it right out of my pocket. Okay, I had you and lift your dope. I told yeah. you I couldn't risk the guy not taking you. No! The cigarette! You stole the cigarette. What? The Russian cigarette! You had him steal it off of me! And over that asshole, Mr. White! He poisoned Brock! He poisoned Brock and you! You! Help him! It's all... It's all... Tumbling. <laughs> one more time! To calm down, come on! Yes, okay, what made me? Oh, oh no. I never would have agreed to it if I know what he was gonna do. Just, you gotta believe me. I don't want any of this. <laughs> I believe that. Duh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oh up. my lord. You know, you think this is a really mellow episode. It's like, oh no. Get off me. What do I pay you for? Well, he just locked the door. Uh, yeah, but he was a bit slow, wasn't he? You got a big problem. Man. Just going to turn up there. Uh, but... No, that's more like, get the hell out of there. We have a code red. Be calm. Hey. <laughs> Panic. Yeah. Reminds me of that time he drove up to uh, Ted <laughs> and then was really yeah. calm inside. You know I, the, the latch on the soda machine wasn't... Latching. <laughs> it's, it's catching every time that I stop. Catching instead of latching. Can't believe it. <laughs> She's like... Okay. What did he put in that soda machine? Is there a gun in there, do you think? Soda. Put soda in the soda machine, Claire. There's a gun in there. <laughs> it's a bit frozen. A little bit. A little bit chilly. What a good place to put, keep it hidden, like. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's just so calm compared to the last scene. It's yep. insane. Like, how much happened? I go head on over to the mm. drugstore. <laughs> I don't think she cares. No. He could have just walked in and out and it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. Where is he going though? Straight to the house. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he does not give a shit. It's music. Is he gonna like burn their house? It's music. Oh my god. Yeah. It didn't look burnt in the... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, he is done. <laughs> I don't think 
can't look too bad. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, that's one of my favourite scenes. It's so good. When, as the episode was going, I was like, oh, no, I know what happened at the end. Well. Confessions. So, that was Confessions. Wasn't the confession I thought. No. No? No? Well, no. No, we thought <laughs> no. Jesse had... Uh... Yeah, it could have been Jesse. I mean, it yeah. could have just straight up been... They played it as, like, what was going to confess. Yeah. But it confessed uh. a completely different confession. Yep. What do you think of this episode? It was a good episode. Mad. Yeah. I see Walt's point though. He's got a good point. No, Walt is an asshole. Yeah. He is an asshole. <laughs> like, he's a monster. Like, I get his point of, like, Walt Jr. finding out. But he should have thought of that when yeah. he started it. He probably did, but... Yeah. yeah. And that ending, man, with Jesse. Yeah. So good. So good. <laughs> There's like a, a few moments in the show that I, I consider some of my favourite moments. Like, yeah. Like obviously, like the the, the bomb. Yeah. The um, run, the cellar laugh, the crawl space laugh. Yeah. This is one of them. I just love that shot of him going in, like just crashing and everything. So good. Yeah. But yeah. What did you think overall? What did you like? What did it was you? It's a good episode. Who did I? Yeah. Like you said, it was quite calm for most of it. Yeah, it felt mellow and like... Oh, no, 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 no. It was like... Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. thrown off the cliff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like... It went like plodding... Yeah, like you said, it's just plodding on for most of it and they're just instantly ramped. Yeah. It's crazy. But we did start in a different way. We started with Todd. Um, oh, yes. I did, was trying to remember how we started. Then. Yeah, he called uh, up... Walter to tell him him and Declan had a disagreement and yeah. management's changed. Changed and, and then you just get him He's in a diner having a chat with his Uncle, Uncle Jack, Jack, just telling him about the escapades of him and Yeah, Will he, and the he explained the whole and... heist to him and they were like they were laughing about like, it. Like, should he be talking about this? I mean the people he's telling it do. Yeah, I know. Well does it matter, right? Like yeah. Um The look they give the the like waitress when she comes over and oh. then just everything about them is just yeah. ugh, I hate them. And then they end up driving away. Well, before that, he's like, "You ready to start cooking again? Think you can do your own yeah. lab and whatnot?" They even go in the bathroom and get a whole scene of that, and him wiping the blood off his yeah. shoes. Just awful people. But yeah, then you just see him driving off down the road with the methylamine. Yeah. There we go. That was it. That was the intro. Um, Hank is with Jesse. Wow, well, Jesse. He's out of it. We get a little yeah. montage of him, like, it's like all zoomed what up. What he, in his perspective, yeah. is like, he's just... the two guys questioning him as well. So and... good, the time maps, yeah. And then it kind of cuts to Hank being in there. And Hank basically is like... Well, he switches off the camera, like I said. Yeah, yeah. And he, first of all, he's like... Um... I need you to talk to well, me about no... Heisenberg. No, 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 he says, how was your day? Not in the yeah. talking mood? You know, he's like... Look, I know... My brother-in-law's Heisenberg. And who's that? <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's yeah. the look. He's like, look, I mean, you can... Help each other out here. I can speak to my friends in APD, sort you yeah. out, like... You can work with me. He's hurt you. I can tell by, like... Yeah. And he's like, eat me. And he's like, why don't you just beat it out of me? Yeah. Isn't that what you do? Yeah. He's like, look... Please help me. <laughs> yeah. I love this because then Soul just like charges in and it's like, do you guys... Didn't he know? say something like, he said something about tell, talking to him and he's like, not to you or something. And then Saul walks in. Yeah, at not that to moment. you, yeah. I love Saul. And he's like, oh, you heard about their history together? Beat him yep. unconscious. Rocky here with your left hook? Get yeah. out of here. Yeah. It's very much like, why was he left alone with him? Yes. Yeah. Last time... Yeah, it was insane to leave them alone, but... Yeah, but the soul is not happy. No. I like how he checks the camera as well. <laughs> he turns it, doesn't he, just in case, yeah. even though it's off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is where soul was like, like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, have there any idea of the shitstorm you've caused, yeah. like, chucking your money away? Yeah. And uh, does, did they say much else to each other? No, really, I don't think. I think it cuts to Walt on the phone to Saul and he's like shut up Saul just get, give him the money I gave you get him yeah. out done yeah that's so where Junior calls out I'm just going out well 
didn't he just come home? Oh, something? yeah, yeah. And then yeah, Walt's yeah. like, oh, make up. He was like, I'll be right there. And he's he like, oh, well, uh, yeah, Aunt Marie just called me. i got to go help her with a computer, computer thing. thing. What's that? He's even like, hmm. He's like, okay. And Clever of Marie. Yeah. But unfortunately, Walt was there, so. Yeah. Yeah. And this is where Walt thinks it's the perfect opportunity to tell him that his cancer is back. Of course. Well, how else do you get like, him to well, stay? Off, go off to Aunt Marie, and he's like, "No, I want to stay here." I really like Flynn, Walt Junior's actor. Like, yeah, yeah, R.J. Mitt, I believe his name is. But um, yeah, he like, he, you can see it's like, oh, it's no, just the like, manipulation. Like, he knows yeah. if he tells him at this moment. I love how he starts by saying, "I'm going to tell you the truth. You, you deserve yeah. it." Like, oh. You were like, is he going to tell him everything? Well, I was just playing. Yeah. I knew he wasn't, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so he ends up staying. It's crazy. Um, Hank gets home, and that's when Marie's like, well, is Flynn with you? I'm like, what? Yeah. It's like, no, so, why would he be? Like, and he goes straight to the little bar. They yeah, like, she's like, did, how did he go? He's like, well, I didn't tell anyone. No. It's not the time. Yeah, she's like, what do you need to? Well, she's like, it's well beyond time. You need to sell them, like... Just like, don't tell me how to do my job, basically, mm. isn't it? Yeah, being hard as a game. She is trying to help. Yeah. Yeah. She clearly cares about him a lot. But the thing that happens after this is a true testament of why he's not said anything yet. Because why? there's not enough evidence. No. And then we see Walt with Skylar. Is this at the restaurant? No. And she's like, are you sure about this? They're in the bedroom. Oh, yeah. It's like, yes, it's the only way. They've got a video camera. And it's like the very first episode when he films his confession. Yeah. It's like, what was Jay Tartwell White Living or whatever. Out, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. This but then it cuts. Confession. Yeah. Then we're at the restaurant. Very awkward. The bloody yeah. waiter. like Waiters are always awkward in these situations. Any like, si- yeah. Like any situation at, at a restaurant. How often... Does the waitress or waiter, wait person, we'll call them, <laughs> how often does the wait person turn up at the exact point? Like, yeah. it's always, you're kind of waiting a little bit, like, is anyone going to... But you also understand they do have, they do have a lot of tables that they have to, like, it's, but then it's either that they don't turn up... What are you say? <laughs> yeah, I'm confused what you're saying. No, like, it just always happens that... Is that an inconvenient time at you? Said? Yeah, like okay. you're either like mid conversation. Well, they don't really know. Do no, they? no, that's what's what's what I'm on. saying. Like it's always yeah. the way. It's but just... especially here, it's especially yeah. like awkward and weird. I think it's also because uh, like Hank and Marie aren't happy about being there. Hank has got like eyes of daggers. Oh yeah. Well, and... I like it starts off with them just sitting there and they look kind of awkward. And Skylar Marie... looks. Well, no, no. Before they even get there, oh, Skylar yeah. looks a bit like. I don't know Stiff. if I'm sure about this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And but then Marie, when she sat there, she's like, tears in her eyes, like, yeah. clearly uncomfortable. She's angry, yeah. And then you just got the waiter coming on and going, hello, hello, and you're just like, this, like you said, read the room. Like, oh, yeah, come yeah. on. Yeah. But what was you basically... any drinks? Yeah. No. Yeah. Longer with the but menu. What was basically saying how you have no proof, you can't prove this stuff, and, yeah. you know. Um... He says that, and you are not taking the kids. Yeah, we need to think about the kids, Junior, mm. and what Marie tried to do to lure him away. She's like, I did not lure him. He's like, yeah, you did. They need to be with us where it's safe. And even Skylar's like defending, like, they are safe with us. Yeah. She's like, well, you even took them away. And she's like, but I did bring them back. Yeah. Because Skylar's like, well, he's out of it now, so yeah, and it's in the past. It's in the past, it's- and then the Hank's like, how can we believe any of that? Yeah. Well, it doesn't even matter to Hank in that that, no. that regard, anyway. He's like, no. it doesn't matter. You've, what you've done, you've done. Like, yeah. And he even says to Skylar, you stick with him, you're going to end up in prison with yeah. him. Like, and Walt says like he told Flynn that the cancer's back and he's, he's got enough going enough. on the whole past year he's been through yeah. enough. And I love how Marie's like, why don't you just kill yourself? Yeah. And they're like, what? Just kill yourself. You say it ends She's, with you dying. Yeah, do, do it. Do it now. Like, I mean, I, I'm with Marie. Yeah, just, <laughs> I'm like with Marie. Like, he is. Yeah. But this is what Hank says about the fact yeah. that 
he needs to... himself as an easy way out. Yeah. He needs to pay what for what he did. Yeah. yeah. Um... And then, well, can kind of see it's not going their way. Yeah, so he's just like, okay. Leaves, and leaves the disc. Yes. What did you think was going to be the disc? Did you think it was I just was actually confession? confession? Yeah. You naive little fool. Yeah, apparently yeah, Have so. you learned who we're dealing with here? I know, I should have thought better. <sighs> My God, that video, man. It's literally <laughs> just Walter lay, blaming. It's a confession. That of... is, yeah, for Hank has been the one behind this all yes and he's kept walt in like as a, For a chemist yeah 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 he's kept him in um and as he's like, like like not kidnap what well, i was gonna say slave or what but what? i don't know employment or? Uh, no he's trapped him i don't know he's yeah, yeah. um yeah it's crazy yeah but everything like but as he's worked his way up in the dea yeah so everything then, works out yeah like, it does so him moving his way through the dea using his dea connections yeah the and ride along they went him on pay his medical expenses one hundred and seventy seven thousand dollars. but yeah every, like the ride along the the gus fring yeah. the hector salamanca the this the that the everything when the disagreement he punched me and gave me this yeah, I like how after this, Maria's like, "Who do you think he showed this to?" And then Hank is just like, "No one. It's a frat." Yeah, which it is. That's a yeah. straight up. Threat. And then that's when Hank's like, "Is what what he's gonna do? Like tell everyone if I don't back off?" Yeah. And then that's when Hank uh, Hank turns around to Maria and is like, "Because no, no, she's first of all, she's like, uh, well, he kind of, I think he maybe mentions it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's like one hundred seventy-seven thousand. But, but I think I don't know if it's before. But she starts saying how, um, like, uh, show this to your boss, Raimi, and then like get ahead oh, yeah. of it, you know, and do this, that, and that. And then he's like, the money. What? What is he talking about? Medical bills. What yeah. about my insurance? She's like, they told me it was gambling money. <laughs> yeah. How was I to know? Which is true. Yeah. And then Hank. And she, he, she's just like, he couldn't afford. Like, the medical insurance wouldn't couldn't yeah. cover what you needed to be able to walk today. Yeah, Hank's just like, Jesus, you've killed me. Yeah, you've... You've ended me, I think he says. Yeah. Yeah, which is true, but... Yeah. Like, his whole life will be ruined as well. Yeah. But it's like... It's awful to say, but there's a, there's a part of me that's like, would Hank be better off literally just resigning from the police force? And going on his merry life. Hank? Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's what the Wolf's given him the option to do that, I guess, right? Yep. Is to it, it, just back off and then. Get a job at the car wash. I don't know. And it'll be. Do you think he'd do that? No. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? That, oh, just like the lengths Walt goes to yeah, cover up too, everything, to mastermind it all. He's too good at it. Yeah. And, like, the excuse of, like, I get, like, not wanting Flynn to define this out. Yeah. After everything. But also, you're the one who caused it all. Yeah. Like, like, what do you expect? Like, there are consequences yeah. for actions. Like, yeah. Um, cut to the desert with Jesse and Saul. The tarantula. Yeah. <laughs> um, Very fitting. And Walt turns up. Yeah. And they have a chat. <laughs> He tells Saul to go for a walk. Well, first of all, he's asking him what Hank knows, and he's like, well, I don't think he's told anybody. He knows you're Heisenberg, but that's it. Yeah. He was acting on his own. He's, like, a bit secretive and shady. Yeah. So the DA does But that's when Saul's like, are we going to talk about the shit story he's created with the money? And then Walt sends him off. And his walk is literally, like, 20 paces away. Yeah. And that's when Walt starts telling him, or talking to him about. That he thinks he should... Have time for a change. Yes. Why don't you leave? He knows a guy who can get him a new identity and everything. Well, Saul knows a guy. Yeah. Why don't you go? You can go anywhere. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Get a new job. What's here for you anyway? Maybe uh, you can find a woman and a family. I mean, like I said, like Jesse had that until yeah. shit went down. And then what does Jesse say? What does Jesse say? Will you stop working me for one oh, damn yeah. second? Yeah. So what do you mean? What do you think about this? It's like you're trying to be a father. 
drop the um, carry father act. father act or whatever yeah. it was. Um, yeah. It's got a point. Yeah, no, definitely. Like, he's cottoned on to how he talks and yeah. how he lies and the way he's manipulated him. I mean, we saw it last time with him talking about Mike because he's like, he said, yeah. like, I'm your problem here. Like, you need me yeah, out of you here. You either want me to agree to move away or you're going to kill me here like you killed Mike. Yeah. And he's like, and then he's like, admit it, you want me to go for you. Just yeah. say it, like, what? Then it's just an awkward hug. Yeah, well, Jesse don't want that hug. No. Get off of him! Um, yeah, to I'm glad, well, I'm glad Jesse is finally, like... Standing up to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. But, but then we cut to Saul's office. We cut to the car wash. Oh, really? Yes, uh, where... Walt needs oh, to go yeah. off for his chemo and yeah. he goes into Skylar who's in the dark just out of it like everyone yeah. is out of it her, Jesse yeah. um, Hank and he's like it worked trust it it's fine she's like <laughs> yeah yeah because that's even what like a, a bunch of people have said over and over in this episode is like if Hank had enough Walt would be in prison yeah he'd be arrested so yeah um, Gomez comes in to question Hank about why these guys are watching Saul's office oh, and yeah. watching Jesse, Jesse Pickman. He's like, yeah. Don't I... need a good reason otherwise. And Hank just kind of backs off. Yeah, says pull the gas. Which I don't blame him. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? Like, yeah. Then he leaves the office. Hmm. It's like, you got this secretary person. I'm meeting at three and he's like, push it. I'm just going. Hank is just consumed by it. Yep. Which you can blame him considering, you know. But yeah. yeah. Um Jesse is gonna start a new life. Is yeah, that Saul's? Saul's office? Uh, three is one two five. Um yeah. he's like Jeff phone. Well he goes to smoke some uh Dope. Yeah. Um he's like, yeah, you're not gonna be able to do that. He's like, he's give like, me the rest and then he puts it in his pocket. He's like, oh. Yeah. Jeff phone? No, well, no, no, before that, he's like, um, let me go get Huel, got to sort something out, he'll drive you there. So obviously when he went to get Huel, he told him, you need to get that out of his pocket. Yeah. You know? So, that's how it all fell apart. It is. But mm. yeah, Saul gives him a Hello Kitty phone, which he's not very happy with. Um, no, yeah. But yeah, then they go out of the office. I, I like how um, Saul is like, <laughs> I don't know, the whole time, like, even when he's hiding the dope in his pocket and whatnot, he's like... Like, some people you just can't take good advice. Like, yeah. Jesus, I'm trying to help you here. Like, he goes so far out of his yeah. way to help criminals. I mean, it makes him a criminal in a way, but yeah. Yeah, he goes to get a bag, doesn't he, for the money? When... Yes. Yeah. But um, he basically. You do like... see it when he... Jesse walks past Huel. You actually see him take it yeah. out of his pocket. I don't know if you saw it fully. Yeah, I did. I saw him. Yeah, yeah, because I, I didn't want to. Did... That's why I said you were... Did you just take that out of his pocket? But you question. It was like you were questioning me whether I, and I didn't want to admit. Yeah, it's just because I saw his arm and then his arm go in his pocket. Yeah, that I was like, you could see the bag in his hand. Yeah, so, yeah. I like how um he's like, oh, I'll go to Florida, and he's like, Alaska. Alaska's good. So it's a bit of a different vibe, but sure. Yeah. But Jesse is waiting. Inside the road. Yep. Um, and as he's waiting, it goes like, in his pocket. Wait a second. And he's freaking out. And then all the the meanwhile, he's holding the cigarettes. I love the spinning around him and the, like, this so well shot. And and the the car car pulls up. up. And then he walks towards the car, but walks straight past him. And then, oh, I love this scene. That's all. Just goes in, kicks the door down. Well, opens the door, closes it on Huel, locks it. (laughs) And Saul's like, well, what happened? Why didn't you call me? And he just punches him. Left hooks him. Yeah. yeah, beats the crap out of like, him. He's like, what are you doing? Code red! <laughs> <laughs> he goes to try and get a gun, but Jesse gets yeah, it. Yeah, he's like, you'll get it. <laughs> yeah. And like, Saul's like, I don't know what's happening. What are you doing? And then like, you could hear Kiel, like, beating down the door. Yeah. And then he obviously breaks in. And then Jesse points a gun at him and he's just like... And they keep telling him to calm down. He's like, tell me to calm down one more time, I swear. He's <laughs> like, you got Huel... To take the cigarettes that had the resin. Well, it didn't say. It him. didn't say that first. He said, um, "You got Huel to pit pocket me," and he's like, well, "Yeah, the dope. Oh, I had yeah. to make sure you went." And he's like, "Not that. The 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 rice and cigarette. You got him to pit pocket me 
for all for Mister that scumbag Mister White. Yeah, you can just see him like he's like admit it. It's like I did. He poisoned Brock. But he I figured didn't it out. know what he was gonna do with it. Mm. I, I wouldn't have done it if I'd have known. Yeah, yeah. you gotta believe me. He made me do it. Yeah, which Jesse probably can. Oh yeah, at this point, yeah, hundred percent, yeah. Jesse knows the lying, yeah, manipulating person. What is? Yep. So he goes off, and <laughs> Saul's like, "Go, oh, you got a problem." <laughs> and then we get the scene at the car wash, and oh yeah, well, Skylar's Skyler still out of it. Yeah, give him wrong change. Thing. But I love how he like drives up really fast, and then gets to the door, and he's like, hmm. calm. And he's so awkward, like the way he's covering it yeah. up. Yeah. It's like, oh, I thought I would. Uh... Check the, uh, the latch is not machine. latching. The catch is latch. No, the latch keeps catching. So I thought I'd have a look. You and know. you called it. What's he right, got in there? A gun in there. A gun. Such a good place to hide a gun. Mm. But then we cut to Jesse. Jesse driving in these in because uh, he stole Saul's keys. Keys, yeah. I love this whole scene. And he just crashes. The music, into... the way it's shot. Because like, it crashes into, into the camera, like the front garden. Yeah, yeah. and I, I love the shot above the the, the the trunk. Yeah, and then it's like attached to the gasoline and, just, like, and kicks the door in and then just like throws gasoline everywhere. Maybe all over the camera. Yeah, what's he gonna is happen? Done. But it's like I said, I'm pretty sure the scenes that we've had from the house, it doesn't look like it's burnt. We've had one scene. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's burnt. It so. was empty and run down. Yeah, but. They didn't look burnt, mm-hmm. so who knows? What do you reckon happens then? I don't know, maybe Walt catches him there. However, if someone fires a gun in that house right now, that is going to light up. Cause if there's the... a spark, it wouldn't just light up from a but, bullet. Yeah, because of the yeah. spark in the gun. Yeah, it'd have to land. No, like the gun, it, like there's so much fuel in the air. I don't know if that would ignite. No, I think it would. I don't know. If, I if think you're mobile, a bit paranoid. You're the one if who's mobile like, phones can <laughs> blow up petrol stations. That's what anyone's going to say. You're the one who's very paranoid. I mean, there are reasons they probably got those yep. signs, but... Just takes one little, little, little spark. Man, I love that and Did you see how frozen that gun was? That gun is... Yeah. Yeah, so it's not even going to let off any heat. There we go. How do you... Well, you do you reckon Walt's going to get there then? Is that what you think? I think so. Then what? It's like an opposite of the situation before. I know Walt survives. Wow, yeah. Because we've obviously seen the bit at the end. So... Yeah. But, I don't know. Will <laughs> you just kill Jesse? At this point, what's he got to do? I don't know. I'm like, I don't, I've not seen any clips of Jesse in to know what happens to Jesse. We'll have to see. We'll be back next time for more Breaking Bad. We've only got five left now. Yep. Five, right? Yeah, five left. Man. Exciting stuff. Um, yeah, very excited to see more. I, yeah, I was waiting, because obviously I remember the big bits in this season, but I couldn't remember what, or, like yeah. when they happened exactly. So like as this episode was going on, and I knew it was that ending, I was like, oh, I love this bit. So, yeah, so good. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back in a week's time for more Breaking Bad. Uh, otherwise, next on the channel is Always Sunny in Philadelphia. More craziness there. Um, but yeah, anything else you want to say? No, I don't think so. Oh, a very good episode as usual. But yep. thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye bye.